By the end of this video, you're gonna have an exact step-by-step -step guide on how to get 100,000 followers on TikTok right now for free in 2023. In fact, I guarantee that if you implement everything that I share with you in this video, from what time you should be posting, to what hashtags to be using, and even how long you should be creating your videos, and the last and most important thing that I share with you in this video, you will gain over 100,000 followers on TikTok in 2023. In fact, I think a lot of you could do it in the next 30 days. I just helped this creator do it in 30 days, this creator do it in 30 days, and this creator also did it in 30 days. And there's no difference between them and you. The only thing that's different is that they watched this video, had this information, and took action. But before we can dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. Also, I have a free TikTok growth course you can get at the link in the pinned comment below. It's going to share with you a ton of secrets that unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to share with you in this video. For example, how to edit your videos better or how to make a better hook. On top of that, here's my phone number. Please hit me up. I want to help you grow quicker on TikTok or honestly, any social media platform. Step number one is gonna be posting at the right time on TikTok. This is something that so many people overlook and it's why they're not getting the views that they used to get or why they never get views in general. There are three best times to be posting right now. The first one from 10.30 a.m. to noon. The second from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then finally from 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. You heard that right. Those are the three best times to be posting if you haven't had a post go viral in the last seven days. If you have had a post go viral or you've been doing posts that have done above average in the last seven days, then you need to do something. You need to take your five best performance performing posts from the last seven days, see when they were actually posted, and add 30 minutes before that, add 30 minutes after, and boom, you have the best times to post for your specific account, and for a lot of you, for your specific niche, if you've had posts to above average or go viral. And what you need to do is make sure that you're posting 80% of your content during those time slots, 20% of it outside of those time slots, because inevitably, they will change once society's trends change, or when your audience's trends change. For example, during Christmas break, the best times to post, they changed. During the holidays, Holidays, they change. During the new year, they change. A lot of people are out of college right now. They're going to be going back. What does that mean? That the best times to post are going to be changing. So make sure you're subscribed because if you're not, you're going to miss out when new changes come up. For example, the hashtags that you need to be using have also changed, but we're about to dive into that. And after we talk about that, I'm going to share with you two other incredibly important tips about the length of the posts that you should be using and one other secret thing that's literally going to turn your views into followers on TikTok. So when it comes to hashtags on TikTok, there are two things you need to know. The first is going to be broad hashtags, things like hashtag FYP, hashtag viral, hashtag TikTok, hashtag trending. Now, a lot of gurus on TikTok will tell you not to use these, but if you go and look at the majority of posts that end up on your For You page, the majority of posts that have gone viral in your niche, guess what they all have in common? They all have those broad hashtags. The reason being, the way that TikTok actually uses broad hashtags, a lot of people think it's to index content. It is not to index content. It's so that they can actually get a feel for what kind of audience they should be pushing your content towards. For example, if you use hashtag FYP, a lot of viral posts have used that. So guess what that does? If you use that and couple it with hashtag fitness or hashtag crypto or hashtag fashion or hashtag whatever, it could be hashtag horses or hashtag fish. I don't care what it is, hashtag poker, it doesn't matter. When you couple those two things, you're going to reach one, that audience that you need to be reaching. But secondly, you're going to be able to expand the audience. And I'm going to chat more about this later because the topic of your content and whether or not there's an audience for it matters a lot on TikTok right now. In fact, it might be one of the most important things that matters. So please make sure you're using this broad hashtag make sure you're using those niche specific hashtags. Niche specific are going to be anything that is specific to your niche. For example, hashtag fitness, hashtag biceps, hashtag workout at home, if you were in the fitness niche, or whatever is going to be relevant for your niche. That being said, you need to stop using the small to medium sized hashtags. Large hashtags only when it comes to TikTok. You're not trying to rank for a hashtag. You are simply trying to show TikTok what kind of audience they should be pushing your content to. And the larger the hashtag, well then guess what? The larger potential audience, which essentially means that you're going to get more views and end up getting more followers. This is a mistake that I see so many creators make. Now, when it comes to the exact hashtag strategies, the first one, four niche specific hashtags. The second one, five broad hashtags. The third is going to be three niche specific and two broad, and then finally, three broad and one to two niche specific. Now, you need to be using these different hashtag strategies on different posts. So for example, if you're just starting out or starting fresh, you're going to use one on one post, one on another post, one on another post, one on another post. Now, once you've done that, you used four different hashtag strategies, but kind of the same structure, guess what's going to happen? You're going to realize that one of those posts did better than the rest of the posts. What do you think you should do from here? The same thing with the best times to post. Start using that hashtag strategy 80% of the time, 20% of the time, test it with the other ones because inevitably this will change and you need to make sure that you're doing this and doubling down because if you wanna get more views, which is going to equate to more followers, you need to make sure you're using the right hashtag and you need to make sure that you're paying attention to the actual format of your content. This is one of the most important things I'm gonna talk about, so please make sure you focus up. 
Now people always ask me, they say, Rob, does the topic of my content really matter? Does the color of the text really matter? Does a seven second video or a nine second video actually hit a different audience? And the answer to that is yes, because you need to understand how the TikTok algorithm actually works. I'm gonna break it down for you incredibly simply. You need to, instead of focusing on the algorithm, you need to simply focus on what is your audience watching? Because all TikTok wants to do is keep people on TikTok. This means that they prioritize two types of content. One, content that gets a high amount of watch time, but more importantly than that, content that looks like content that somebody has already watched. If you go and watch a TikTok and you comment on it, you like it, you share it, you watch that TikTok all the way through to the end, I guarantee you the next time you come on the app or a day later when you're scrolling, you're going to see a piece of content that looks exactly like that. Why? Because that's how the algorithm actually works. It's based off of your past watch history, which is why you need to study and understand what kind of content your audience is watching, aka what posts in the last three days have small creators within your niche posted that have gotten a large amount of likes and you can find this very simply. One, if you just engage with content within your niche, guess what's gonna happen? TikTok is going to give you these posts. It's going to literally feed to you the topics that work, the lengths that work, the sounds that work, the text that you should have on the screen that works, and then all you have to do is recreate those videos. Essentially what I'm telling you here is not to copy other people, but you need to be going based off of them. If you wanna get a lot of views, you need to be paying attention to the length of the posts that are trending right now within your niche, the color that's on the screen, the text, what the actual topic of the video is, and you need to understand something. This really matters. I'm not talking about you making a piece of content that is kind of like another piece of content. It needs to be on the same exact thing. Perfect example. If you make a video, if you're in the fitness niche, actually, let's not do the fitness niche. Let's do music. One of the best things that work within music is doing cover songs. If you do a cover song on Billy Joel and Billy Schmoll, guess what? Billy Joel is going to get a lot more views. Why? Because there's a huge audience for that type of thing. Billy Schmoll or some up and coming artist or a smaller tier artist, guess what? Not going to have as many people that are searching for that. Not going to have as many people that have engaged with that. And ultimately, it's going to be the difference between you getting a million views and you getting a thousand views. I don't care how good you sung that other cover song. If it doesn't have Billy Joel on the text, Billy Joel in the description, Billy Joel in the hashtags to let TikTok know that that's the audience that you're going after and they have this large audience for that, well then that's going to be the reason that your content isn't getting pushed out. Now, you need to take this and do it for your niche, right? It might be basketball. If you talk about LeBron James or you talk about some guy that nobody knows about, who do you think is going to get more views? Even worse off, if you don't actually talk about an authority figure, it's going to be the reason that you don't get views. And I'm not just saying an authority figure. If we go back to fitness, if you talk about getting big legs or getting big chest, which one do you think does better? Getting a big chest because not that because not that many people actually care about growing their legs. And the other part that you need to be paying attention to is that TikTok TikTok, you don't need to follow people on TikTok. So what do you need to do to actually turn your views into followers? You need to give people a reason to. You need to tell them to follow you and you need to give them a strong reason. If you go back to the call to action in this video, I told you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna grow quicker on TikTok. Why did I do that? Because I know you wanna grow on TikTok. You need to do the same exact thing. For example, if you were a music artist and you did that Billy Joel cover, it would be follow if you love Billy Joel. Not follow if you love your saying, not follow if you wanna see my latest release. It's follow because you like Billy Joel. It's going to get the people to actually do that because all humans want to do is confirm the things that they already believe in. So get them to believe in that thing. Get them to confirm it. Somebody doesn't want to go away from that. If they like Billy Joel, they're going to follow you. They're going to end up giving you more views and you're going to end up getting 100,000 followers. Now, all of that being said, if you wanna make this 100 times easier, you need to get into my TikTok mentorship program where I guarantee that I hope you're on TikTok in the next 30 days or you get your money back, zero questions asked. You go to the link in the description below to get into it. There are limited spots available. This is the program where I tell you exactly what to post, what time to post, what hashtags use, specifically what hashtags use, not just the strategies, how to change your content. We're gonna look at your analytics together. I can tell you the perfect call to action and so much more. Essentially, I'm gonna be critiquing your content for 30 days. I'll be sending you a plan and ultimately, you're gonna get guaranteed followers on TikTok or you're going to get your money back, zero questions asked. You have absolutely nothing to lose. This is the same program that all three creators that I share with you in the beginning of this video used to get over 100,000 followers. That being said, if you want to get into it, there are limited spots. Go to the link in the description below. Get into it right now. Otherwise, watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.